4-6 um, using the angle base theorem and 4-6 using the properties of your isosceles and equilateral triangle. Number 9 asks you to find the x and the y for all these shapes, okay? Um, there's no one way to do this. There's a lot of thinking that is involved here, okay? So um, let's stay with this here. We know that inside here, the triangle is an equilateral triangle because you see how all the um, red marks in indicates that all the sides are congruent because all the sides are congruent we know this is an equilateral so all the angles here are congruent by default all equilateral triangles are 60 degrees so we already have our first answer x is equal to 60 degrees okay now this is something very interesting this angle tells you about this side this angle tells you about this side this angle tells you about this side so this angle tells you about 60 degrees, right? That means this angle right here also will tell you about this because this is the same between them. So this is 60 degrees tells you about this opposite line, which is in purple here. Okay. That means this also has to be 60 degrees because it tells you about its same line as well. So we have by default, Y is also equal to 60 degrees. Let's look at B. Oh, I already know what I need to do first. This is vertical, okay? I'm just going to write that because they're vertical, okay? All right, let's do this, okay? Well, we know this two are congruent. We know that this is X and this is X. So what is Y? Hmm, interesting. Notice that this tells you about this angle. So this tells you about this angle. Notice these are the same. So this has to be X as well. Therefore, you can set up this equation. X plus X plus 75 is equal to 180. Two X's plus 75 is equal to 180. Subtract the 75 over to the other side. <clears throat> 180 minus 75 is 105. Two X plus 105 equals to 180. Oh, sorry. Minus 75 minus 75. Two X is equal to... 105 divide by 2 what is x equal to 52.5 so this is 52.5 this is 52.5 because do you see how these are vertical this also has to be 52.5 that means this is x is also what by default 52.5 Okay, then you can already tell because this is 52.5, this is 52.5, therefore the last one has to be what? 75 degrees. So Y was equal to 75 degrees. All right. Let's look at C. All right. Ooh, we should figure, uh, we should know that these two are congruent here because of vertical angles. Okay, let's figure this out. <clears throat> This is 140. We can tell what this angle is, okay, based on linear pairs because this makes a line. Do you see how this makes a line? So if this is 140, this is going to be 40. And notice that these, this is an isosceles. So this is also going to be 40, okay? Now you could set up the equation to solve for this x. 40 plus 40 plus x is equal to 180. 40 plus 40 is 80, plus x equals to 180, minus 80 to both sides, x is equal to 100. So here we can say x equals to 100. If x here is equal to 100 degrees, <clears throat> then we know this is also 100 degrees. Notice that these two here have to be the same because it's an equilateral triangle. So this is by default 40 and 40. If this is 40, we know that this is also a linear pair here. This is 40. This is also a linear pair. So Y is going to be 140, okay? Because it makes a straight line right here. So we have Y equals to 140, okay? That also makes sense if you see the two interior angles of 40 and 100 equals that exterior angle of 140. Let's now take a look at uh, D. Okay, 
Ooh, this is going to be very in interesting. On the inside, you have a um, equilateral triangle. So I have 60 degrees all on the inside. Okay, the reason why that's important is because you see how this says that the total here is 90. That means this little gap right here is going to be 30 degrees. Okay, and notice that this is a isosceles. Sorry, yeah, an isosceles. So x has to be now 30. So we know that x is equal to 30 degrees. Now you can find the y because we know that 30 plus 30 plus y has to equal up to 180 because all the angles add up to 180. 30 plus 30 is 60 plus y equals to 180. Minus 60 to both sides, you get y equals to 120. Let's look at E, okay? So, notice that this forms a line, okay? So, we can look at linear pairs. If this is 40, this is by default to be 140 as well, okay? Now, notice that this says it's an isosceles because two congruent sides. So these two angles are also congruent. So you can write x plus x plus 140 is equal to 180. Okay. The x here together makes 2x. Bring down the plus 140. So it's 2x plus 140 is equal to 180 minus 140 to both sides. You get 2x is equal to 40 degrees. Divide both sides by 2 you get x is equal to 20 degrees, okay? Next, is there a way to solve for this y here? Well, we know that this is 20 degrees because we just solved it. If this is 20 degrees, this part that is left over here has to be 70 because do you see that red box, okay? So what's left on the inside is that 70 degrees plus that y angle plus that 40 degrees, and that has to be equal to 180, okay? 70 plus 40, it is 110, plus y equals to 180. Subtract 110, subtract 110, we get y equals to 7 degrees. So there you go. Let's look at F here, okay? Ooh, this is very interesting. Ooh, cool. Do you see how if this is 90, this also has to be 90 because of y, vertical angles, right? Then also you can think about linear pairs. This is also 90. This is also gonna be 90, okay? So we know if this is 90, this is 90, 90, 60. Uh, this is gonna be 30. Uh, if this is, let's say 90, this is x. Oh, here's the, and this is 30 here, right? So this has to be a 60, okay, here. This is also a 60, okay, all right? And then let's see, can we get Y somehow? Well, if this is 60, is there a bigger triangle we can look at? Oh, here, here's the bigger triangle, I see it. Um, this is 60, 90, hmm. Let, let me um, see what we can do here. Oh, these two are congruent. So this is 30. Oh, right here. Do you see how this tells you about this and this tells you about this? Okay. Uh, this is going to be Y is equal to 30 degrees. Okay. All right. I'm going to clean up F to make your life easier. Just give me a second. All right. So welcome back. All right, four is on the right-hand side. This actually comes out of my PowerPoint that I teach my students, okay? So four is complicated if you treat it as one object, okay? So I recommend you split it as two. So we'll look, okay? Do you see how I just split into two triangles? So the first one I know has to be 60 because it's an equal, it is an isosceles triangle, right? So then I can just put that 60 in here and notice that that also has to be 60, so y has to be 30, okay? If you don't believe me, you have to take a look at the um, opposite. So you see how this tells you about, sorry, um, okay? 
this tells you about this side this side gives you the opposite angle this side gives you its opposite angle here as well okay so that's why why right so if you really want to take a look at it it looks like this okay this is 120 this is y this is y right y plus y plus 120 has to be equal to 180 so subtract 120 to both sides you get 2y equals to 60 y equals to 30 okay that's another way to do it okay so there you go treat it as two triangles it's better to visualize it that way